Hello, I'm Nariman Farvardin, president of Stevens Institute of Technology. As we're getting close to the end of another busy and productive semester, I thought I would take a few minutes to share with you some of the highlights of this academic period. I would start with the incredible success of our Shorehouse team. Approximately 60 students and faculty members who participated in the Department of Energy Solar Decathlon competition and they designed and built a magnificent house. It won the competition first place. They brought a tremendous amount of acclaim and visibility to the university. We've received acknowledgments and congratulatory notes from the US Congress. More than 100 media outlets have covered this story from New York Times to National Geographic. There is a Shorehouse t-shirt that will be available in our bookstore. This is, of course, an indirect way of providing financial support to the Shorehouse Fund. Another significant accomplishment for the university was the recognition that we received from the New Jersey Technology Council, which is called Knowledge is Power Award, recognizing the contributions of Stevens to advancement of knowledge and, of course, indirectly uh, to economic development efforts in the state of New Jersey and to the country. Another important success story this semester was the culmination of an effort that began approximately a year and a half ago. It involved submission of an application to the Hoboken Zoning Board of Adjustment for construction of a new academic building, the Academic Gateway Complex. I am delighted to report that this effort concluded very successfully. We received a positive vote from the Zoning Board. We're hoping that we can break ground sometime in 2016. Many of our faculty members have received honors, but one that is particularly noteworthy, Professor Victor Lawrence, is being inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Professor Lawrence will be in the company of such well-known uh, inventors and innovators as Thomas Edison, Nicholas Tesla, and the Wright brothers. Our athletics programs in general continue to do extremely well. Our men's soccer team, our women's soccer team, and our field hockey teams all won a conference championship. A number of individual athletes brought in honors because of their successes in their own individual efforts. We continue to have a robust uh, operation in the university. Uh, maintaining our positive momentum in a number of different areas. The number of applications coming from prospective students at the undergraduate and graduate levels continue to rise. Uh, the university continues to become more selective. We experience approximately a 40% growth in our externally uh, sponsored research contracts and grants, enabling our faculty members to break new ground. Uh, we also had a very successful year in terms of our outreach to alumni and development activities. The total amount of gifts and pledges that we received last year reached a new height. The percentage of alumni who participate in giving was significantly larger than prior years. I hope that we can maintain this momentum and continue to set new records for the university in this extremely important area. We anticipate uh, a few significant administrative changes in the university. Perhaps the most important of these is the fact that Provost George Corfiadis, after nine years of dedicated service, has announced that he will be stepping down from this position at the end of summer 2016. We have already embarked on a national search for this position, and I hope to recruit an outstanding new provost in a timely manner. In addition to that, Dean Michael Bruno of the Schaefer School of Engineering and Science has accepted a position at the University of Hawaii, Manoa. Michael Bruno will be leaving us at the end of 2015. Professor Keith Shepard has graciously agreed to serve in an interim position. And we are also in the final stages of a search for the Dean of Arts and Letters. I expect uh, an announcement to be made in the very, very near future, probably in the early part of 2016. One more time, I'd like to mention that this was a busy but very productive uh, semester. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of uh, my colleagues at the university for their hard work and for their dedication. And uh, I wish all of you a happy holiday and a wonderful new year.